Thanks for joining me on another video. My name's Adam from WPCrafter.com where I create videos for non-techies like me and maybe like you. Now, this is a video that's part of a video series about a template that I released. And let me just show you that if you don't have it already, you can go to WPCrafter.com, click on Done For You Templates, and you'll see it right here about creating an online course website. And when you download and restore that, you are going to have an entire platform to build and launch online courses that you can sell or give away. And this is the template right here. Now, in this video, though, I wanted to talk about the lesson style. So that would be the format of a lesson page as you look at it. And there's two different styles. And I think I'm also going to touch into the style for a course page. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. When you scroll down right here, I'm going to click on this course right here. This is my course page. So I want to just talk about how I did this and how you can change it and make it look the way that you want it to look. And then for my lessons, I want to show you uh, two different styles. It's going to be right here and here. So this would be the first one right here where you've got this large area, you've got this video and you've got this background image. I'm going to show you how to pull that one off. And then the next one, uh, let me just click to the lesson right here, is this where you don't have that big video area. I love the big video area, but you might not. And that's what's great about this package is there's options. And this is just simple. You've got your title of the lesson here and you've got your video right there and beneath it right there you could put a bunch of text if you wanted uh, i didn't in this example so i'm going to show you all of this right now so i'm going to log into the back end of wordpress and here's the dashboard so let's first take a look at that course page and the way you find it is you go to courses and then click right there and you'll see a list of your courses and the one I'm gonna look at is right here where it says WordPress essentials now essentially the way I'm able to pull off these really cool areas with the big background in the video and the text and all that is with an add-on that comes with the generate press add-on package now I've already put it in this done for you template however you should go and maybe purchase a license when you can it's only forty dollars and it will get you updates directly into WordPress for you and there's one update I would really like to see that would make things easier and I'll talk about that later so you'll see it right here where it says page header now if you see this and you're like where's all those options it might just be collapsed and so you can click on this to expand it. Now this page header is those options. Let me just go back to it right there. The page header options is the area that's underneath this and above your content area. It's this little area sandwiched in the middle. So here are the options that I have it set to and you can change it to what makes sense for you. So the first thing is the image settings. So when you click on that you can see I've already chosen and uploaded that background image and you can click on add image just drag and drop your image across and then that would be the background image so say I wanted to use that image I could click on insert image and it's changed even though it's not showing in the thumbnail here actually let's do an update and see if it shows the updated thumbnail okay so that's how you would see it so don't freak out if you're changing the image and you still see the old one you have to save it to see it actually here let me just do a refresh just to show you that it did save so there you go now here's one of those caveats you just got to keep in mind you want an image and the text to be appropriate color so that you'll be able to see the text so if it's a light background you have dark font if it's a dark background you have a light font so let me actually go back and put my other image back in there. All right, so that's where you would choose your image. Now, I will probably get to this at some other point, but you can click on video settings and you can integrate a video. Uh, I will get to making a video about that though at some, at some point because it might be cool. It probably wouldn't be so cool uh, for a lesson page, but maybe on a regular content page. Okay, so then right here we have the content settings and that's where you're gonna be 
uh, spending most of your time. Now, unfortunately, you have to look at a little bit of code. It's okay, you could just copy and paste and reuse this code the way that it is. Um, it would be nice if it had a visual editor and maybe that will come at some point. So right here is your headline area and that's right here where I put WordPress Essentials and you can see it's wrapped in what's called an H1 tag. Just wrap it in this tag and you'll be fine. But if you wanted to know, that makes it the larger font tied to your headline one in the font settings. And then I've got some normal text here and this is one of the other little negatives is you have to put this bracket BR bracket that, that tells it for the text to go on a new line. So if I didn't have this, the text would just go all the way from the left to the right and I don't like that. So I put this BR, that's uh, just like hitting the enter key. And that's why here you see two, because that's me hitting the enter key to go down a line and then down one more line, which does create this little bit of space here. So that's just your basic HTML 101. And then right here, I'm using what you can grab on YouTube and I'll show you how to do that. It's called an embed code and it's real simple. I'm gonna show you how to get that off of YouTube. And that is where I'm doing this uh, YouTube video. That's how it's getting embedded in there. Now, just so you know, um, it's fine to have a YouTube video here, uh, but for your course lessons, if it's protected content and valuable, you don't want to use YouTube for that because anyone can get the, the the direct link to YouTube and share those and, and people can watch it off of your site. So you, you're not going to want to use YouTube as your video host for your lessons, okay? And I'll have a video about what to do about getting video in there and the best methods of having secure video in there. So anyways, let me show you how you get that YouTube video embed. And I'm actually gonna change that. So let me go back here. So this is the code that I'm looking for. And uh, let's see, okay, here's a YouTube video I already have pulled up. Uh, good looking guy there. Now when I scroll down a little bit, you see this option here that says share. When you click on that, there's an option here that says embed. The only thing different is you're not going to have these. This is because of something that specific I have on my YouTube channel. So there it is and it shows me this code and wouldn't you know that is actually the embed code. So I'm going to copy it like that and then I'm going to go back into my course page. Let's delete that and let's paste what I just copied. And then uh, let's go ahead and click on update. Let's go here and do a refresh. Okay, I got my image back and you can see it's now showing the video that I just copied in the embed form. And uh, there you have it, see how easy that is. Now when you scroll down, there's some more options here. Now I would just encourage you to stick with these options. You could play around with them, but, but I've played a lot around with them and these are optimal. So you want this to, to, to tell it to add the background image. Uh, this actually, this is parallax. You don't have to have that. Parallax is when you're scrolling, you can see the image kind of moving too. You see how the image is moving up? That's parallax. You can disable that if you want. And you want this padding set to 50. This puts the text in the middle, make the container fluid. And this is what you're gonna, this is what you need to change the text color. And so that's how come the text color is coming out white. I can click right here and change the color to whatever I wanted to make it. And that is essentially all there is to controlling this area from here to here. Now, you don't even have to use this area. We can just disable all these options and put our little video right in here if we wanted. We would just go ahead and scroll down. And right here is where we would enter that embed code that we got and uh, we would get rid of uh, these options. So actually, let's do that. So let me delete all of this, but I'm gonna just put it over here in my notepad. Okay, I'm gonna highlight it and delete it. And you can see all those options have immediately gone away because it sees that there's nothing in there. Uh, let me actually just grab that embed code and I'm gonna put it in right here. And then let me go enter, enter. Let me click on update. I'm doing this live, so who knows how it's gonna look. So I'm doing a refresh. 
Okay, I gotta get rid of that image, that's fine. So here's, you can see right there is my video and here's the text that I had beneath the video. Uh, actually, yeah, right here I would have to click, I think I just remove it like that and then click on update. Yes, and now that's totally cleared out. And there it is. Uh, as you can see, it's showing this featured image. There's actually an option to have it not do that in Lifter LMS. I think right here, under Disable Elements, I can click on Post Image. I can probably click on that and then click on Update and it'll probably get rid of that for me. So let's see. Yep, see it got rid of that for me. So then you can just have all your text right here and you can do that. And here's your syllabus. Um, you can actually just have the URL to the YouTube video and it wouldn't restrict the size of it. Let me show you that. So I'm going back here. You know I had that embed code. When you use an embed, you need an embed code to kind of restrict the size of the video. Um, so what I'm going to use for here, I wouldn't actually use an embed code. I would just directly paste in the link to the video and then click on update. And then let's see if that resizes it properly. Yep, there we go. And it just resized it properly. So you could do it that way if you want. I like the other way better. I like something that looks good visually. So uh, let me show you how easy it is to get everything back. Let me clear out that content. I just need to choose my image. And then I need to click on content settings. Let me paste back in those settings like that and it saved all my stuff there and then I can click on update actually I need to uncheck this right here and then click on update go here and there it is I'm back in business so that's how you saw how easy it was to manipulate this and so when you're creating new lessons I would encourage you just to copy these settings or maybe have a little notepad of exactly what these settings are so that when you're creating new courses uh, you can put it make it look identical and that's the beauty of this solution you know this that you can add a lot of style by just having like a different background image here you could totally change the look and feel of this by putting in a background image that reflects you and reflects your brand and what your course is about um, you can easily do that or even have just a solid color it's completely up to you so that is the course layout and so when I scroll down you can see my syllabus right here and if I want to edit a lesson all I have to do right here is click on edit content and it's going to take me right into editing that lesson now here is the content of my lesson and then here's that very familiar thing the page header settings and so that is this lesson right here and you can see I have the same thing going on. I've got my background image and I've got a larger video and then I've got the information here for the lesson itself. Now I'm doing things a little different here. I'm using a service that I have a lifetime license. I actually have a reseller account with them where I can resell it to people and I might add that to my website. Um, I could sell it for a lifetime account for $99. If you wanted to get it on their website, it's like 200 bucks a year right now. Uh, but I have this reseller account. I should maybe throw it up on my website for people. Uh, if you want a VooPlayer account, uh, if you want to buy one from me, you can just contact me directly. But what this is, is it's a platform that allows me to deliver my videos in a secure way. It has analytics on my videos. I can do really slick things like this pulsating button. And what's really cool is if someone's watched, say, half the video, and then they come back to that video later, it will remember where they left off. I really like that. I think it adds a uh, professionalism to the website. And it also gives me options to customize the player experience so I can customize the colors of things like that. So, and it does a million other things. This is just exactly how I'm using it. And then it gives me a embed code like this that I can just copy and paste into my lessons. And I'm using the same exact platform on my website to deliver videos. So when you go to my website, you can see exactly how I'm doing it by clicking on courses. 
we can click on, let's see, Security Essentials, the first lesson is free. So you can click on Security Essentials and then click on the first lesson right here. And you can see how I have it set up on my website if you haven't taken my free course. So I've got this area right here. So you can see how it's different right there. I've got the colors and the, and the green. So it's kind of matching my branding. Let me pause that there. Um, so uh, anyways, that's how I'm implementing it the same exact way. And I got the same look and feel, professional look and feel for you. Now, I don't want you to think that I, I'm not going to do videos. I don't feel comfortable with videos, so therefore I can't use the solution. You can use it for anything you want. So instead of having a big video, say you have audio lessons or something like that, you can add an audio player to WordPress. It'll do the same thing, give you a embed code, and you would just drop your embed code right here or a short code or something like that. So you can instead use this big area. Instead of having a video, you can have an audio player where someone can listen to whatever audio lesson. Or if you don't want to have audio and you don't want to have video, which is totally fine, you can maybe put some info right here about the lesson and still have that professional look to the lesson page and then have whatever contents right here, whether it be images or whatever um, in the lesson. You could just add that right there. It can be whatever you want it to be. I don't want you to feel restricted or limited to what this solution can bring to the table for you. I do want to encourage you though to consider creating video content because it has a higher perceived value when people are considering purchasing your course if they know it's a video course because it's going to obviously be more clear because you're you're connecting with them by looking at the camera or if it's just like screen recordings like how to work with this program or that program or do this on the internet or that you could just be a screen recording in your voice um, i like to merge both in all of my videos but you could do what you want now i do have a course that is all about creating courses and i talk about a lot of this in that course you can buy the course on my website or if you did get hosting through emotion hosting and send me the receipt then i will give you access to that in all my other courses as well so anyways i did want to just cover these different layouts for the course and for the lessons and you can use that same page header deal on posts on pages on on any content of your site those options are there and just so you know this is why i had to go with generate press and their add-on pack is so that i can deliver this amazing looking lesson experience in this header area with this beautiful background image that's why i went this direction so that is pretty much it for the lesson format hey really quick can you do something for me if you're watching this on youtube can you give me a thumbs up and i want to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel there's a button right beneath me and i'd really appreciate it if you did that and i've got something for you i don't want you to leave empty-handed if you just click off here to the side it's a free video course that i put together just for you called the three steps to WordPress success. You will love this course. Registration is free right now. All you have to do is click on the link right next to me. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me and I can't wait to make another video for you.